Hello, welcome to Creo Parametric 3.0. Today we are going through the Sketcher module of Creo Parametric 3.0. Next is Editing Tool. Okay, Editing Tab. So first is Dimension. We can modify Dimension 1 and all at once <laughs> select the all whatever you need okay I have selected this and if I want to change all the dimensions in relation then I can lock the scale and if I change the one They will change along with scale. Right? They all will be changed as per log scale. If I remove the log scale and regenerate and turn, that will not regenerate the dimension and reflect the dimension on my sketch entities. Okay. If I take this regenerate, it will show me the regeneration of the dimension ok this is the sensitivity by the sensitivity you can increase this sensitivity of your button thumb wheel sensitivity of your thumb wheel ok and yeah one more thing you can identify your name of the dimension creo automatically provide name to the dimensions for its own reference okay first uh, i want this sd25 should be divided by should be driven by sd24 okay so i will divide i will write here sd24 remove caps sd24 divide by uh, 6 ok do you want to add this lesson yes ok now if I convert it into 600 it will automatically regenerate it to 100 and you cannot modify it yet this one you cannot select or modify see the dimension is governed by relation and cannot be modified see. so this is the modify tool next is trim with the help of this you can trim objects by just clicking on it or selecting on it it will be deleted but if I want to delete intersecting object I can draw drag a line around it around like this so it will de de delete the drag objects okay this is how it's work you can select chain geometry and all so it will delete all but I don't want to like this but I can remove this ok next is corner with the help of this corner tool we can create corners like this the other extended where extended will be deleted ok I want corner between this and this see I have got a corner between this line and this line if you have corner and extended ends it will reduce delete the extended ends and if you have intersection possible intersection then it will create the intersection point and create your corner okay this is how the corner tool works okay 
next is I select object and two of my tools are highlighted without selection they were not highlighted okay let's check out the other one divide with the help of this you can divide your object in multiple size okay see here we can found some vertices here now I go for select the to select the trim and if I divide this I can divide them one by one if I went divide then I will trim it will trim all the object right so we have found the use of divide we can divide the object okay next is select object and mirror but for mirror I need some center line yeah I have one okay select object mirror and select the center line it will create exact mirror of your object okay this is how mirror work but remember one thing mirror won't work if you have do not have a center line okay it always required a center line to create a mirror okay next is move and rotate I will select this object I want to move this object okay so I can move this object right away wherever I want okay let's zoom on this object if I select this button I can move if I have pressed the left click and select this button I can move this okay if I press right click on this button I can change the position of move or change the position of pick point of my move okay I want to change the position to here and re change the pick point of position okay next this is not only the move this is rotate and resize so I can rotate it and resize it like scale will be double or 2.5 so it will resize see it's growing bigger size if I reduce the scale for half then it will be resized to half see this is how rotate and resize tab works okay and if you press okay then it will be done okay next we learn our favorite command control C control V means copy paste okay if I have some entities to copy then select one two here is copy okay now I want to paste it on somewhere else like here then what we get here again a rotate and resize tab what with we will familiar with this thing now okay I want 2.5 so it will grow like 2.5 and rotation rotation of 90 degree so it will rotate around 90 degree right we can copy and paste easily now we have learned to copy paste Okay. Thank you. Thank you.